Oh, I'm just thinking my little pony. Go! Hello, everybody! My little pony! Da, 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 da. No, 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 there'll be no ponies. Oh, I've seen ponies. far too much pony porn on Rule 34. Ready, no. Love. No, no, no. Right, anyway, hey, everybody, welcome to Rule of Time Plays D&D. We're in the middle of an epic, epic, epic last, last chapter ending Stand. sequence. The climax to this part. The climactic, climactic climax to this. Dragon versus Ice Titan. Orcs versus Jotuns. Who shall win? Gideon versus his sexuality. No, I'm joking. <laughs> anyway, it's me as always, me and there's M's, the wonderful Ira, and the Ooh. diabolical mind of Mr. Page. Let's get cracking. Let's go. Gideon versus Jotuns. No, Gideon, Gideon's all Rep man. Rep um, represented by this Ice Titan, just like, do me. <laughs> Do me with your tiny man penis, Guinness. No! <laughs> God damn it, I like girls! I'm gonna frostbite your nipples. No, <laughs> I don't like it! No. So we meet our heroes along with the remaining 11 orcs. <laughs> oh wait, sorry! Oh no! How many orcs died in that battle? Oh, I've come off it. Uh, three... All of them? Six of them died. So we've got seven. Yes. Five. Seven remain. Five. 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 You will need that. that. No, this is yours as well. Yeah, let's yeah. leave it. Yeah, last, last, last game, Gideon managed Lumi's. to kill four Jotun and two Yetis. Because he's a bad, because of ultimate badassery on I his I wasn't part. keeping count. So yeah, I, I killed that count. many, so obviously. So they've, they've just charged their way through all the Jotun, got ambushed by Yetis, cut their way through them as well. Um, and as they got to the steps of Crackball, they were met by this great door. And um, the Ice Titan emerged from the under the ground, basically, behind them and cut them off. He was being um, a sneaky son of a bitch. Stuck between this door and the Colossus, Kalorinir swoops down, like, munch, pecks, pecks his eyes, pecks his eyes out, <laughs> basically, and um, the Ice Titan falls down, um, throwing shards of ice up at them. These boulders of ice fly past them, grazing Marrick and uh, Bannock. Gideon manages to kind of move out the way or Lyra, again blast Lyra away from himself. Lyra 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 came blasting one them. like a boss. Um, no, one of them goes girl. straight for Lumi and she turns into light and it goes through and she's like, ah! Oh. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, can't hurt me. And they buckle this great door and we, do, we, we catch our heroes rushing through this great door as they behind them they see Urgard rising from, from the, uh, the frozen lake underneath. Run, run, run. So. You can't see us though, it's alright. You entered through the great door and enter a uh, throne room. Oh. It's a stone room, 30 meters long and 15 meters wide, with extremely high ceilings. A long stone dining table runs the entire length of the room, with uh, benches on either side, stone benches. Um, at the head of the, um, basically the end of the room that you're in, there's a platform where a throne sits. A Jotun wearing the crown of Krakvald sits upon the throne. Bitch! Um, <laughs> he, he has Bitch! He has a pile of orc bodies in front of him which he's using as a footrest. Um, this guy's come. He's completely covered in um, in tattoos. Um, oh, he's crap. got um, yeah, he's got the crown on his head. He's got a few like grizzly toasty. He's smoking like, a pipe. Orc hands and stuff. No, he's just kind of chill. Like, he's like, like a he's, sir. He's laid, like a sir. He's, he's laid back like an arrogant motherfucker on this on this um this orcish throne. I mean, enough of um, this arrogant motherfuckery. Flanking him are two huge Jotun, both covered in tribal tattoos. Um, the Jotun that's bearing the crown rises up and laughs. This. <laughs> As you enter, he's much, much bigger than a normal Jotun, by the way. He um, waves his hand nonchalantly, which is a great word. <laughs> nonchalantly. <laughs> Lazily. And, and he signals his two bodyguards. And as he does so, the two Jotun um, basically um, rise up. They don't have weapons. They just rise up and slowly, calmly start walking towards you, one on either side of this big, basically a feasting table. Like a, like it's better than a Viking like longhouse kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one on either side just slowly starts pacing towards you. So what do you want to do? Here's what I'm going to do. Just well, you take Marek, I'll take Ross. We're going to attack both of them at the same 
Yeah, that's a really good point actually. What do you want the five orcs to do? Split up and cover those. Yeah. Three you can get them to hold the back sure. door so nobody can rush in. You can get them to just fight for you. Or... Right, we'll run one, protect the back door, two of you, two of me. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Okay. So we've got four going at each other. Okay. So, uh, are you going to ready now? They're, they're just like, they're calmly walking out. You're like, you're nothing. Um, the, the orc on the throne still just stood there watching this. I'm getting it. I'm going to ready watch the daggers. The orc on the throne. The on the throne. The on the throne. Yeah, I'm going to like clench my dagger a little bit harder so it just the flames just get a little bit stronger. Oh, that's Shh. cool. That's a cool image. So I'm just like raging. I'm raging. Raging. The rage cage! Rage okay. Rage cage. So they I'm going to ready sorry babe, just to cut you off. They I'm begin to they they're basically almost upon you now. I'm going to ready sparks and electrify. So who's on the left, who's on the right? He's on the left, I'm on the right. Mm -hmm. oh, I was I was imagining myself on the right. He's on the right, I'm on the left. Okay. Sorry, sorry, it's just my That's what I was thinking of. Um, yeah, who has yeah. Marek, who has Banner? I have my I have Gross, he has Marek. Okay. Okay, so Marek, are, Marek, are you ready, Marek? Uh, so Marek, Marek grabs his great sword and goes, let's do this. Just so you know, me uh, and Marek have high fives. Banner, <laughs> uh, who's, who's with Russ? I am, with high so fives. So Russ <laughs> steps in front of Lyra and guards her with his kite shield. Um, so um, the two Jotans stand about five metres away from you, so you're just like facing off. Yep. Uh, do you want to attack? Do you want to charge forward or what? Um, I'm going to, can I, I'm going to can I, can I, can I, can I spit at one of them first? Yeah? Sure. As, uh, not as an action, just because I want to. Okay, so you spit at one of them, and as he, you do so, he, uh, he wipes it from his face. Doing so, his hand starts to glow with frost energy, and he throws an ice shard at you. He might be dodged. Bye. Uh, and he misses you. Ha! What a dick! Uh, yeah. Is it my I don't know, because I, I, I wasn't using that as an action, I was just using, just doing that. Yeah, that's that what was it was. his return. That, that was your reaction. Option. That was your chance to start combat. And oh, you decided right. to spit on him, so he started combat. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's my turn. Yeah. Right, okay, oh, this is I what I'm going to do. You should have told me, bitch. Uh, well, no, I'm that's gonna... what happens if you're about to start a fight and you fucking spit on somebody. They start Well, I was going to say I was going to do that and I was going to fry it with electric. Um, all good times. Moving on. Uh, I'm going to take a step away from Barrick, but I'm going to jump up Barrick's, Barrick's back and stab at him with my flaming sword. Do a radical so in the head. head. You want to flip over Russ? Yeah, as he uses his kite. Okay, you're going to need an agility check. Oh yeah, I can do that. Oh shit, no god. <laughs> 14. Okay, so you actually manage. Uh, so Russ stalwart with his shield. Um, stares down this Jotun, and as the Jotun thinks that Russ is about to charge, this random elf girl <laughs> does like a hurricanrana <laughs> over his back. What the fuck's a hurricanrana? It's, it's a wrestling move where you do like these epic flips <laughs> and stabs at this Jotun. So um, tap your flaming dagger. Mm. Eleven, you will miss him. What? So you land in front of him and just um, this Jotun calmly like sides away. Yeah, and this dagger misses him, and you oh, look up like shit. Slice quick. Okay, so we're now in combat. Or? It's gonna go. Um, it's gonna go. Um, we'll do each combat on the side separately. Mm -hmm. So we'll have. Okay. We'll have. Um, do you not want to take turns? We'll have um, Gideon and Marek. We'll have. Yeah, we'll have. Do you want to do all of Gideon and Marek first? Yeah, we'll have. No, or do we no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll switch between right, we'll the two. Alright, we'll do Gideon Marek. We'll go Gideon, Marek, Jotun, Jotun, and then Lyra, Lyra Banner. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. So, Gideon go first. Ah, the two. So, you're, you're, I've, I've read sparks, you're on the right. So you're on the right, yeah, Gideon. So, yeah. So, I've, I've read in Sparks, so Sparks is just going to let fly. <laughs> yep. With a 20! Oh, my God! Oh, yes. Okay, so you hit him with the Sparks. Oh. His body, like, goes into spasms of shock, and he's stunned for D3 turns. Two turns. So, he's stunned for two turns. Yes! And he takes, was that double damage? Double uh, he damage takes double damage? damage and is instantly stunned. Four damage, bollocks. Oh, five, because it's... Oh, he's not weak to thunder. Is he not weak to thunder? What's half of 18? Nine. Nine. So was it five damage? Five, yeah. Okay. All right, so... I've got another action as well. That's yes, like you first do. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, you do. Uh, and then I'm going to flame him with the other arm. With a 16. Uh, that will hit. Doing... Two, three, four. Yes. Four more damage. And that's Marek. Okay, so uh, Marek, seeing this, um, it's basically a shaman. 
um, like shocked, like spasming, uh, dribbling a little bit, dribbling a bit, like snotty. He, he still uh, stood up. He's just like shaking from all this energy rushing through him, and also slightly charred. Um, ah, I'll show you who the real wizard is. Ma ah. Marek puts his greatsword on the floor, like behind, him, holds it on the floor. Runs forward, casting sparks behind him Dragging as, as, as his sword is basically sharpened by the stone floor, and he up uppercuts this the shaman. Um, Sixteen, he hits, doing two damage, and then as he does it, he's going to bring it back round and stab him in the side. So I he hits again, doing two damage. I didn't know until then that sparks could stun stuff. I would have used it well more often if I'd known that. Yeah, um, it's like a nervous system. the two orcs behind you, actually emboldened by the fact that you pretty much one hit KO'd this guy, they run forward um, and each try to hit him. One they hit. both hit, because oh, he's only 49 now. Wow. Um, and they're going to do D3 each. So they oh. both do three. Jesus oh. fucking hell. Excellent. So yeah, you just beasted this guy. He's, um, he's, he's still stunned. Um, he's very nearly dead. Cut to the other side of the room on the left side. I kind of just be like, well then. This is I all going on the same time though. I guess so. what I'll do is uh, so, yeah. slice at him. Um, Lyra um, is actually going to go last in this combat because you missed and you're stood yeah. in front of him. Right. So um, first it's going to be the Joker. It pays to be a cocky bastard sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> so the Joker. You missed. So, ah, right so right first right. it's going to be the Jotun, which. Um, Put, um, his entire arm is, um, glows with white energy and he punches Lyra in the face, he just punches her in the I face. <laughs> and as he does so, he catches flesh to ice. You need a resistance check. Oh god, you get frozen. Gonna, gonna What's your resistance? I don't know. Willpower of nine. So no, um, as he punches you in the face, this uh, basically ice armor completely covers you and you're frozen in a block of ice. Uh. So you're stunned until you break out of it. Uh, you need a willpower check. Blue me! Um, uh, and if he gets a critical on you, you're gonna shatter. Uh, <laughs> oh god! Ems! This could very well be the so, end of Lyra, uh, people! Ma Don't die, Don't so, die. Russ, seeing this, is gonna run past you and shield bash this guy out of the way. Um, he actually misses him. Fuck him. And then he's gonna try and do it again. And misses this him again! Um, the two orcs, terrified of what they've seen behind you, don't charge. They just kind of shake with their swords at the side. Cowards! These guys are terrifying even to Orc Warriors. Not terrifying uh, to the great Gideon Morningwood, Cut back, cut back to the... Turn, isn't it? To break out. Yes, yeah, sorry, yeah, it's Lyra's turn, yeah. Um, you, you, yes, you need a willpower check. You need to roll under nine. Oh, strength test. No, it's a... Strength test the wall. Yes, yeah, three! I've never been so happy! So, so you... you <laughs> Well you manage to resist the magical energies around you and you just break out of the ice, but that'll be your turn. That's fine. I'm free. Not gonna shatter, not gonna die. <laughs> um, Did I get caught it? across the table, you see the um the Jotun sat on the throne who's clapping. Watching you um kill his kill his, beast dude. his men. Um, he's like laughing his ass off, he's like <laughs> his feet are beating against the bodies that are just ragdolling on the floor. Uh, Okay, uh, so cut over to the other side, Gideon. Um, with Gideon on the right side. Um, <laughs> um, the... Yeah. I'm, going to, I'm, going to, I'm going to epic flame him. With a 14. That hits. Yeah, yeah, that's it. It hits. Do D6. 3, 4, uh, five, 5. yeah. And then I'm going to flame one. him again. With yeah. an 18. Oh! Okay. Fine. Sorry, four. Al. No, it's a 2. 3, 4. four. I'll have it going this way a little bit. Shit. So you... Is this guy, is this guy dead? He did not, he did not expect this. He's on this. one health. <laughs> Come on, so, Merrick! So you rush right up to him and put your... Basically put your hands to his flame chest. Flame come in! And yeah. flame through him and he's... Uh, basically he's within a pillar of flame and all you can see is his head just going... Oh. So basically his central nervous system is fucked. His exo-nervous system is fucked. His, well, his epidermis is fucked. He's basically not got an awful lot left. <laughs> and as you're doing this, Marek runs up behind you and yells, DUCK! And you manage to duck down as Marek swings for the guy's head. A bit misses. Totally hits him. Wow. And Good he cleaves eight. his head straight off his shoulders. Good, now jump over the table. Cross over to the other side. Boom! That guy is dead So, uh, Lyra's gonna go first this time. Oh, yay! I'm gonna slice up him. Oh, by the way, do you have Lumi some? Because I didn't attack for us. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, okay. She just attacks twice. Uh, she can do twice this time. Yeah. Yeah. Twenty! Um, with, 
a natural 20, she kind of like... Shakes herself. She like bursts out of the ice with a leap, lands on this guy's chest and stabs him in the, in the neck. Doing? Um, doing... Two. Oh, four. Oh, two. It's flame. But it's flaming. It's a dagger. So, no, it's two. Did, it's you, did, you, did you roll a two on it? She rolled a two. So I she got... gets one for his d3, plus two for orcish, plus two for weakness to fire, doubled for critical hits. Ten. Ten. It's alright. Not bad at all. Let's get Pure Thorn's dagger in there. And then Pure Thorn's dagger comes down as well. And an eight. With an eight, you will hit. Now he's bloodied. And. Uh, you only managed to do uh, three damage. <laughs> Bannock's there know, with his yeah. ultimate badass. So, uh, your second set of attacks. Oh, yeah! yeah so, yeah. you're on this just and just stabbing it in the neck, basically. basically. So, you pull out your flaming dagger. Okay. Um, you hit, so you sweep him across the face. One. Doing uh, three damage. And then Bjorthon's dagger. Thirteen. Um, starts into his side. Three. Doing. Okay. So, um. You, so you jump through the air from this eye, stab him in the neck, start stab stabbing him a little bit of time, and then you leap back off him. I'm just going, stab me, stab me, stab me, stab me! So is he still stood up? Just he's like, still stood up, he's just, just like... like uh, 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 uh. Meanwhile, <laughs> meanwhile, Rush charges in and lunges his sword. I flip back over. He hits him, doing... Uh, four. Three, it's three, sorry. And then, hits him a second time, doing... <laughs> fucking hell, three again. I rolled double right. ones, fuck's sake. Stay guys! The, the orcs, seeing that you beat the other guy, um, are going to charge and try and help you two. And they... Uh, one of them will hit, doing... Oops. Doing... Three. These orcs get really good damage. Yeah. <laughs> um, cross over to the right side of the table. The Jotun King now looks slightly annoyed. <laughs> He's no longer happy. Um, so, Gideon and... Gideon, Marek, and two orc warriors are fine. Um, do you want to what do you want to do? Table? You can run over the table to fight, help Lyra, or you can try and approach this Jotun King. You see, I want to do something really badass and slowly and menacingly, like, epically walk towards him. Don't want this king dude, just like, with like, powers crackling well, what in you my can hands. Do, you can walk towards him, um, focus your actions, get ready to attack. And say like if he gets up, I will cast a spell on him. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'll, 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 do, I'll do that. So you're gonna pace forward. So and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk ready forward to slowly. What spell? I'm going to ready. I'm gonna ready sparks. Sparks. So basically, hey, I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk forward with my staff just arcing with electricity, and then in my hand there's gonna be like a fucking Rasengan orb of lightning, just like. <laughs> just like tss, 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 tss. And my eyes are, 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 are like arcing as well. Yeah. Like, oh. So Gideon walks slowly forward. Menace like fucking. Um, I'm gonna Mar suck your balls so Mar bad. Marek <laughs> once again puts his sword by his side and walks just behind Gideon with, with an orc flanking him on either side. So, so I'm, this, I'm, like, I'm like leading the charge. Like, so it's, like, it's, like it's this arrowhead of bring it motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> bitches! Cut to the left side. Oh, I'm going to do Lumi again. Lumi do does three times. <laughs> Lumi's going to... Um, I love it, Lumi kill. If Lumi does it, she has to, she has to evolve. <laughs> There's a good chance she will. <laughs> yeah, Lumi's going to cast an ice shard on him. Which she does. Which she hits, <laughs> doing six. Um, <laughs> I mean, just no four. No way. And then she tries to cast an ice shard again. Misses. Which, misses. yeah, it does miss. Misses. Just, just misses. Oh, if she... This is my go, yes? Oh, it is evolved. your go, yeah. She's not evolved. She's Pokemon. She should be. Alright, <laughs> I. I she's so cute. Um, I've uh, just kind of like stepped back and now I'm going to stab straight through his stomach with my flaming okay. dagger. Okay, so you're, you're, you step back and then lunge forward yep. with your dagger, yeah? So the flaming dagger lunges <coughs> forward. Uh, you managed to stab him. Oh, I do. So you. Okay. So you, after flipping off him, you lunge forward, basically grab the back of his neck and thrust the dagger into his gut. Smouldering flash forms around your dagger, and as you pull it out, his guts pour across the floor, and he falls dead flat on his face. And I just look up at the Jotun King. Now you look up at, at the Jotun King, yeah. And I smile. <laughs> okay. I'm like, you got your turn, motherfucker! <laughs> Hello, dearie. Now I do believe you're going to die. <laughs> <laughs> the Jotun King, who was very amused by all this, with his Jotun, with his Jotun, de uh, blah, blah, with his shaman dead, the Jotun King looked very confused. 
and he throws his crown across the room, like um, down the table, like on job style. Yeah, James down the table. Uh, I'm gonna just pretend I just. I and don't then want he that stands from his throne. You've already ready to action. So when he's when he when he stood up, I'm basically gonna. Bah! So you cast sparks on him as soon as he stands. And with a... 14? Oh, you were one-off getting a shot. <laughs> I know, oh, it's okay. Oh, well. Just three. Okay, so you take... <laughs> yeah. Epic wizard battle about to happen right now. I think I'll come back to you Okay, so... He, he, st- he stands up, you blast him with the Shard of Lightning, which flicks a hole through his shoulder, but he just doesn't give a shit. Hmm. He's considerably bi- bigger than all the other orcs, you've, uh, all Jotun. the other Jotun you've seen. His face is just a mess of like tribal scarring and odd glyphs and things like that. His forearms are pierced with heavy chains, which wrap all the way around his forearms, which he holds in each hand. Oh, okay. Each chain is about eight meters long, and he spins them around. Who's chosen it then? Um, it's, it's, it's my, my turn, isn't it? Because uh, I'm ready to action. Gideon's the closest, so it's going to be... Gideon? For this round, it's going to be Gideon, Marek, Marek Lyra, Banner, but then it'll change after that. And, and then, then the other orcs. Yeah. And then what about the other orcs? Uh, the other orcs are going to be too scared to fight. Cowards! Okay. So my yeah. turn? Okay. Yeah. So, um, i get two actions, don't I? I'm yeah. going to... I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to frighten him, so I'm going to flame him. Flames. 20, yeah. Then that doesn't hit. 20 doesn't hit. You need 22 to hurt this guy. <gasps> you need to get 12? It can't, it can't be done. Can't hit him. Yes, it does, because you get a bonus. You can. You need 20 is the maximum you can get. Is it not? I thought it was. No, no, no. no. Oh, because no. I, I thought that it could only go as high as, as a natural 20. A natural 20 is always best, but if you get a 19 with plus 10, you still get a 29. Oh, oh right. Yeah, I, yeah. I thought that it would only go to, no, only go no, no, to 20. No, no, no. So yes, uh, I think it's okay, okay, fine then. So, okay, so, so I'm, so I'm missed with flames. You know, it's a cone of flames. I don't understand. And then, and then I'm going to, I'm going to. Well, it. it's not you miss. It's not always that you missed, It's that they didn't it hurt you. Ah, oh, right. So you hit him with the flames, and he just strides forward. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lightning. I'm gonna lightning him then. So you hit him with a bottle of lightning from your staff. No. No. Which again doesn't hurt him. So this guy is just slowly pacing forward towards you all. This guy's a badass. Yep. Well, my turn. You'll so take it. an even greater badass for uh, me. It's, it's actually Marek. What? Oh, yeah. So Marek's charging forward with his great sword and tries, die, tries to engage his Jotun. 18. With an 18, and he has plus 5. He does actually manage to stab him, doing 8, eight damage. And then he swings a second time. Yeah. That hurts him again, doing another oh. 4. So 8, 12. Okay, so he's got. This guy was some epic HP, though. So Marek swings forward, slices him in the chest, and then slices through his chest again. He just gets two giant gouges in his body but he doesn't give a fuck. So, Myra. Shadow strike. That's a good idea. Sweet. So you 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 slowly start like it's that slow motion thing where you start pacing slowly and then it speeds up and suddenly you just with a puff of smoke you just bang. <laughs> okay, and then you appear then behind him, and what do you do? Stab him in the neck. Stab him in the back. And you miss. Oh. Um, but it's backstab so you can re-roll. And you miss again. You appear behind him and you stab him and he doesn't give a shit. Okay. You not even take any damage from being stabbed. No. Oh, I've wasted that. Yeah, it was like a glancing blow, basically. Oh, no. You've not wasted it. This guy's fucking hard to hit unless you were bloody in How's he hard to hit? He's not fucking moving. It's not as hard to hit. It's... But bear in mind that fortitude is, is kind of a combination of their speed and their endurance, yeah. Yeah, yeah. or any armor they have on the shit like that. Um, so um, Russ uh, causes men to stay back because they, they, he sees that this guy's fucking they hurt into everything and they die to the normal Um So his first order is going to tell his men to stay back, and then he's going to climb onto the. Um, the, te- the stone table. Oh my god, he's doing a gimli. And he's gonna bash against the shield, rallying you all up. You all have plus one to any action you do this round. Sweet. He's got plus. Plus. So hanging onto his back. I'm, I'm, I'm getting plus. How many? Because I dodged plus 11. 11. <laughs> he, he basically does what like a bard would do and gives you buffs. So he's like, fuck around, bombs, bashing against the shield. 
For Crap Hall! So, uh, um, like, this, 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 this Jotun King up. being stabbed and shocked and all this shit, not giving a crap, he grabs these two chains and he swings them both across the entire room, hitting every one of you, other than Lyra, who was behind him. Can I get a chance to dodge out of the way? Oh, yeah, you do get a chance to dodge. What so, uh, it, uh, what's he gonna need? Uh, yeah, it will be an agility. Oh. No way. I got a so, minus uh, five. <laughs> so, the first chain hits Gideon, doing three damage. Can I, can I grab onto it? No, too? no, you can't. Oh, okay, it, okay. It's too hard. I was going to grab onto it. If you grab onto it, you would literally be thrown across the room. I was going to say I was going to grab onto it and like... Um, you would be thrown across the room into a stone wall. That's not going to work. Pencil, please. So you duck under it. Marek tries to do the same. I get to one! Ooh, what did that do? Three no. damage. Yeah, three. Marek doesn't manage to dodge so badly that not only does he take, oh, only two damage, he accidentally grabs onto the chain and is thrown across the room against the wall, taking another what? one damage. That's all right. Three. Uh, but he's stunned for one turn as well. Four. We need him. <laughs> okay, so the chain continuing on is going to try. It um, reaches Bannock, Russ, whatever Miss. you want to call him, who doesn't dodge it, but his oh. kite shield can stop it. Nice um, he parries it from his kite shield, Ding! and the um, and the chain carries on and it slices into the walls. Marek's thrown into the wall as well. Oh boy. So um, yeah, it's your turn, guys. Go, on, Mr. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna shock him again. Oh! Get uh, sorry, no, the order's changed now. It's, it's now going to be Lyra Gideon. Oh, right. um, Lyra Gideon, Marrick's being stunned, and then battle. Oh, um, I'll do Lumi! Uh, I'll do Lumi again for the next time. Do it now. She does it twice then. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'll do it twice in her turn. Okay. Sorry. I keep forgetting her. She's just there, like, on the yeah. shoulder, just dancing. <laughs> Alright, I guess I will try and You'll stab him. You'll be hiding this guy. Stab him, stab him in, in the, the back. balls. Okay. Bury that dagger into the meat of his ass. You miss him with your flaming dagger and with pure thorns. Ah, oh, well look at that. Uh, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No, you're off by one. <laughs> it's 22. I can hit him. Oh, sorry, I thought it was a 16. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, so you stab him with pure thorns dagger. Twist it. Do in. So I have to do a 17? Yeah. Oh. Until he's bloody. You have a, a power that instantly bloodies him, remember? Oh yeah, you said I was fighting. No, you said you use it once per fight. Oh. Wait, so you, so you do no, one. I didn't. You didn't use it against the Ethers, you used it against the Jotun. What else? Not the first Jotun. No, no, no. Oh no, never mind. So you do one, two, three, but it's a backstab with a dagger which just triple. So you do nine damage. Yay! Is he bloody yet? Uh, Anywhere close to being bloody. <laughs> I do not, it's my next two. It right? is your next action, yeah. Come on, 17. Yes, 18! So you hit him with the flaming dagger in the back, doing. Six! Yes! Three, four, five, six, seven, double. it! So he tripled. 14. 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21. Doing 21. Fucking, fucking damage. Have fun! Oh, yes! Okay, for the first time, you actually see him in pain. Yes! So you stab this flaming dagger into his back and he goes Aah! You still have time to hit him with pure thumbs dagger. He is now bloody though. I'll 12 missed. So you only need 11 to hurt him now. Oh, I got now. 12, yes. So you got 12 to so hit him with pure thumbs dagger, doing... Only one, got triple it. So, one, two, three, six. Five, six? Yes, yeah, six. No, one, two, three. No, nine. Nine? Shit, the bed ends. Well done. <laughs> it's blue me to go yet. I like if Lumi uh, kills this guy. <laughs> okay, so uh, the king has a reaction. So now bloodied, he pulls pulls his arms out and his body seems to bulk up. Suddenly, all of his tattoos, they're, they're um, black and dark blue tattoos. KO okay, 10 times 20! Glow with white light, which then turns into red light. His hands glow with red energy and the chains are nice. It's Kratos! White hot. He is kind of Kratos, actually, yeah. <laughs> no, what do you think about it? Yeah. Um, his chains are now flaming. Okay, so what am I doing? Um, that's the end of your turn. It's now Gideon. Uh, I'm going to cast Sorry, Water Blast on him to like put his chains in. Oh, okay. Water Blast. Oh. Um, you hit with plus 10. Plus 11. Oh, sweet. Do it. Yeah. yeah you so you, you send a blast of water at his chains, which turns into smoke. So um, Water Blast is the... Yeah, there's nothing. You hit his chains right here. Oh, right. Okay. Um, but now but the chains are so hot that the chains don't pull out. 
She's not aware she hit the chains. No. The chains are dangling at the same size. No, it's you so targeted these chains to try and cool them down. You hit them, but they're so hot that your water bath just turned into a... Oh, right. that, was, that was shit, wasn't so it? So your second action? Violent shocks, uh, sparks. You might as well spark. Twelve, yeah. You hit him. Sparks it. Come on. Four damage. Four. Okay. And then that was with a plus. Oh, no, it's, it's a net. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Marek, who's stunned. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Marek. Marek's stunned. Bannock is going to... Is gonna, th- is gonna throw his shield away. He's gonna pick up his. He's gonna pick up his crown, place it on his head, <laughs> and charge straight. My at, house. And charge straight at the Jotun. Stabbing through the chest. Stabs at the Jotun's chest. Hits him, and oh, <laughs> it lost him. He got a perfect kill. Oh. So he basically runs up, stabs him directly in the neck, does a spin. And basically does the samurai thing of looking away from him as he falls to his knees and it's flat on his face. As he does so, the energy from his chains cool down and they're just normal chains. Um, at the end of this, Marek just about kind of um, re- recuperates. Like, what the fuck just happened? And they're like, 21. Okay, so, well done guys. It, it appears you've killed the Jotun King. Let's loot his body. Okay, so your perception check. Oh, I missed perception check! 11. Could be something. 14. Okay, so you both kind of look over his body. 11, 12, 13, 14. He has a variety of trophies on him, like bird skulls and um, orc ears and things like that, but nothing you can see that valuable. Okay, then leave it. Um, What's the rune necklace doing? Nothing. What? This guy was like ultimate badass and there's no loot. Yeah, but he's shaman. He's he's like you. you. Basically, everything that Jotun see valuable, you would see as junk. I mean, you can't sell. Like There's all the things. <laughs> um, so, uh, so you and these what five orcs um, are in the middle of the throne room. You can hear um, the battle between Urgard and Kalradin just raging outside. Every now and then, you just randomly hear a um, <laughs> alongside a. <laughs> okay, so um, so uh, Russ walks up to you and goes, I think all the drugs are gone, but there's no sign of the drow. Of what? Oh, yeah! For what I am! <laughs> Come on, he goes, I what I was. And he goes, like, what? If he's still after the piece of the crown, he should be in the vaults. Come with me! Orcs, hold the gate! And the five orcs rush to the, the crack in the, the great Excellent. door. Mary! And they, they, and they go, um, you they rule, guys, you them. rule! Totally awesome! So, uh, do you want to heal up or anything before you make your yeah, way up? Yeah, that would be a good idea. I didn't get hit once in that battle. Didn't you? No. Okay, um, six, seven, eight. Mary's gonna heal five. for two, five, and then he'll use another one for six. I so he three gets that battle. 11. Okay. So he goes to 30. Um, I'm just gonna say that. Lumi never got to do hers. She would have killed him. Sorry. <laughs> she would oh have killed God, him. Oh my God! Remind me of it. <laughs> Hang on, just, just. Would she have killed him if you only needed like one more damage? No, he had five health left. No, he had three. <laughs> she could have killed him. He's got. That would be Ace uh, and Lumi just gone. Pee, 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 well, he's got frost pee, resistance yeah. three, so she would have had to get a six with a frost blast, but she got up. <laughs> well, oh, Lumi, you, you. That brought. would have been. That would have been I'm a gonna give Lumi a cuddle. Okay. So <laughs> she feels very cold. <laughs> Um, does Bannock need healing? I'm bringing Lumi back in, by the way. She, I think she's back. Yeah, Bannock's going to heal up. Six, ten. Okay, so he, he's quite happy with that ten. I'm on 31. I don't really need any more. Um, <laughs> Bannock's on 36. Wow. Out of 40. He's got I'm, on four, I'm on full health. Yay! Okay, so, um... The Orcs have been told to hold the fort. Basically hold the fort. Surprise. Literally. <laughs> nice. Um, Literally, figuratively, hypothetically, all kinds of these. Okay, so um, you go past the throne um, to a, pa- a, a stone stairwell on the right. I'm really sorry. I've completely forgotten what the what the drow's after. Because you said something about crown. A piece of the nice. crown. Basically, you've been sent by um, Carib yeah. to give this letter to the old chief yeah. Russ. And Chief um, Russ read it and said that um, he's oh, he's asking for, for a piece of the highborn crown. Oh, the highborn. Um, I know, yeah. Okay. But a few days before this drown massacre, he was also same looking thing. for it, um, and then ended up summoning the guard and all this shit. Yeah. Down. Um, so we think maybe that's not what happened. Yeah. But you know. So um. Would you summon a titan? I'd like to summon a titan. 
just like randomly. So, uh, sorry, the battle between Urgard and Cormene rages outside. Yep. Uh, Russ wonders why there's no sign of the drow. Um, commands the Raynaud to hold the door. Uh, let me just see. The vaults. Okay, so you. I see confused pitch. So you. <laughs> it's just I've lost where I am. Um, you sorry. leave. I got too into it and forgot to scroll down. <laughs> um, you leave via a. Um, a cold stone staircase to the right of the, um, the throne, basically, um, which spirals up and ascends for a while until you come to a narrow corridor, um, probably about 10 meters long. Um, the, um, yeah, so that, that carries on, and there's a, a wooden door at the end with iron braces on it. Um, what do you want to do? Knock. Ha! <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm sorry. Um, open the door? Uh, yeah, I guess. You're just gonna open it. Do you know what? Fuck it, yeah. We're just yeah. gonna kick the door. Okay, so you. They just. <laughs> fuck it. So Jesus you basically bastard. run down this corridor, and who's gonna open the door? Barrick. We're not gonna do it. Barrick? This is his. Is that, is that, is that Marrick's brother? Yeah, sorry. Uh, Barrick. Barrick. Barrick and Barrick. Ross. Uh, We're gonna follow Russ, he's the So one you're jerk. gonna tell Russ to do that? I'm just gonna be like. Oh, Russ has picked his shield up, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Russ is the one who. He's we're following Russ. So you're going to tell Russ to do that? I was like, Russ, no, I Well, was... Russ and Marek wouldn't just open the door, so if you want them to do that, you're going to have to tell them to. Well, okay, okay, let's, okay. Well, let, 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 let's ask them. What, what now? What's the plan? Yes. Behind this door lies the entrance to my vault. It, no orc has ever stepped... No, no one who isn't an orc has ever stepped inside. Oh, thank God. I doubt that drow can get in there. He should be in that room somewhere. Wonderful. Right, do you want to open the door, seeing as it's sacred and stuff? Yeah... I mean, we don't want to, you know, Okay, so you walk calmly up to the door, and as oh, you do so, you thing. can hear a male voice on the other side scrambling around. Oh! Um, okay. Oh, open the door! I want to meet this drow! So, are one of you just going to open the door? I don't want to. Marek or Rosses. Fuck it, I'll open the door. Okay. So... I'll open the door, and I'm going to ready Arcane Blast. Okay. I guess I'll just ready my dagger. So you basically, you're going to decide you're just going to rush this door, so. Yeah. One of you pulls it back, it's called a Gideon, and he runs in, are you just going to cast that in? No, no, I'm, I'm going to run in and I'm going to, basically, if there's, if, there's, if there's danger, there's stranger danger. Okay. So you do this and all of you run into the room and, s and suddenly you're thrown up into the air and completely paralysed. Can I try and resist it? Nope. What am I wizard? There's oh. no way. This energy is so. It, you f just feel yeah. this stench of dark energy around you. Oh, gross. And you're, oh. you're literally like ragdoll in the air. Like, you feel this magic land just piercing your body like, oh. through the wall. Oh. I'm just, we're just there, like, oh, this feels I, so wrong. Um, it also wraps around your head and makes it so you can't talk, so shut up. <laughs> he's such a. He's such a con. No, sh okay. By the way, this is my favorite music ever. Shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this crushing wave of energy comes through you. Um, it also forces you to drop your weapons and you're just frozen in the air. Haha, <laughs> my staff is sheathed. Completely unable to move <laughs> on to talk. Right, you can still see around the room. The room you're in is a plain stone. It's about 20 meters square. Um, the back wall actually seems to be um, the mountain itself. It's not stone. It's moon, just, but, moon, help! Um, no, <laughs> the, the, the roof's fall on stage time, so you I can't know, I know, I know, I know. You can't move. <laughs> um, um, there's there's this kind of glowing door um, in the mountain, um, and there's a guy standing in front of it. A guy. Okay, the man is six foot tall. He's he's wearing slender, pitch black, elven plate mail. Nice. His elegant grey hair holds. Uh, sorry, uh, blah, blah, blah. Elven plate mail. Um, his el his elegant grey skin holds a deadly handsomeness, and his blood red eyes just stare right through your soul. Ooh. His sl he has slick black white hair of medium length, and it falls against a deep purple um, cape. What fruit? I like him. He can't <laughs> speak. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, he is a drow, by the way. You recognise him as a drow, he has kind of pointy ears. Um, he has blood red eyes. His hand rests, stroking the hilt of a really odd looking sabre. It looks nothing like anything else you've ever seen. He has a cold, dark blade of a metal you kind of apprehend where the fuck you got it from. Um, the blade shimmers with this odd red aura that you, uh, Gideon feels is just 
epically evil. Like, more than anything like, hey, you could <laughs> ever dream of. I'm like, my like, eyes are like, freaking out, freaking out. Of. The hilt of it seems almost organic. It's this weird black flesh that writhes as he strokes it. Um, that sounds rather sexual. And the pommel is a red gem that seems to have an eye behind it which stares at you and you can feel this cold stare. You, your entire body shudders and you would like let out a whimper if you weren't paralyzed. I, you're a great and powerful getting you on I whimper to nothing. You can't speak. <laughs> you're pissing I saw that I'm thinking this in my mind. You're just like, if I could speak right now, I'd be such a dick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, insults work! So this drat, um, he all, he's, 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 That's exactly... <laughs> he's holding his hand out, freezing you in the air. So he lowers his hand and you remain frozen, all stroking your saber at the I'm side. so sexual right now! Shut up! <laughs> stroking a cat. Like, don't talk stroking for a bit, because this, this is like an important thing. So he steps towards you, slowly pacing with this dark stare. Meddling orcs, stubborn as ever. All you had to do was give me the crown, and you would have been free. Your kinsman would be alive right now, Bonnock. All those orcs, out there, buried in the snow. Every one of their deaths is on you. And you still think yourself a worthy king. <laughs> but what is a king when his people are dead and his fortress lies in ruins? Stupid, filthy, green skins. Wait, you're no orcs. Um, he steps over in front of Gideon. His face is inches away from yours. Does he have bad breath? No. He has very minty breath. <laughs> <laughs> a human. Hmm. A human. A human. A, wi a wizard, in fact. <laughs> Stop talking. Sorry. And what do we have here? And he steps over to Lyra and he looks in your face. No. No. It can't be. Myra? And with these words, memories flash back through <sighs> Lyra's mind. Fond memories of her family. And then they turn dark in a flash of her mother's death and her father being dragged away into the dark dungeons. And Lyra suddenly realises this man is her father. Oh my god! Sorry. <laughs> dun, dun, dun! Oh my god! It's Darth Vader! You know your father's called Baradin, by the way. Yeah. Because it was in your backstory. The, dra the drow turns his back to you and steps away, his eyes wide in confusion. My daughter. Yeah. <laughs> uh, alive? <laughs> he suddenly arches over his back and kind of like, uh, like that. Um, and this weird, as you ask, bro, echoes around this room. Ooh, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can't tell where the hell this sound's coming from. It just echoes through the room. He looks back and goes, no, I am father no more. Prisoner, no more! I am Cypher. Baradin is dead. No. He draws his saber with blinding speed akin to a vampire, like, like a flash. Yes, epic. You have no idea how. And he slowly walks towards Lyra, his blade kind of hissing with bloodlust. And at this moment, the roof is smashed as a dragon flies through it. Boom! Thrown by a colossus. And this tail drags along the floor and snow starts to patter in. You can see Urgard outside as well. Urgard looms over you. The drow looking um, the drow looks overhead and there's the dragon rears back and mauls his favourite beast. He goes, No! It can't be. And um, he, he looks at you, like it looks directly at Lyra with a weird stare. He goes. This isn't over. And he, he um, slashes the air with his saber, which basically makes a black hole. But he then steps through, and as the black hole disappears, he, he disappears with it, and you fall from the sky, and you can pick up your weapons again. I'm kind can of I speak? You, yeah, you're back to normal. Wow, well, Lyra, and your dad's a bit of a cunt. <laughs> I was just like... <laughs> I was like, oh my god. So you're looking up, I thought it was and, the, um, and as you look up, the rest of the roof of the room you're in is torn away by Urgar. So Urgar must have demolished the castle on top of it. I'm in shock by he, the way. He's, there's already holes in all the castle. He basically just ripped the roof off the bit because he saw you in there. Um, so he's got no eyes, I can see him. Well, he still has eyes. They're just like, like icy blood pouring from them. 
Um, you're at about um, waist height of him. That's not waist height, like there, abdomen height. Um, and he's just looming over you. Um, they're gonna have to fight him, <laughs> but he's very badly wounded from um, power. Air. So, so he looks down at you, and he puts his hand out to cast some kind of spell. And as he does so, Kalorinir swoops along, lands on his face, and bites him. And then he goes to swat Kalorinir away. Kalorinir swoops off and he punches himself in the face. <laughs> Why hit he himself? Then, he then falls to his knees and rests a long crack valve, and his head falls in the room that you're in. Uh, Marek melts his face! Bannock just goes, Kill him! Okay, I'm gonna melt his face. Face melting time. Okay. 14, it's a 24. You didn't do anything. On a 24? It's 25. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Lyra? Yeah? I am... Um... Shall I get another action? Yeah, yes, you can. Yes, yes, sorry. Oh, they Lyra? Lyra, in complete shock and sorrow and grief at finding that her father is A, alive, and B, a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Decides to take all her rage and anger out on this fucking thing. Lyra's berserk. <laughs> Go for it. No. Uh, so you mi uh, miss, you can reroll it for being berserk. You miss again. You actually need the 20, by the way. <laughs> That's impossible. No, you got the number 2, don't I? Yeah, you got number 2. So uh, Pure Thorns misses, roll misses it. again. And your second set of attacks. Flaming Dagger misses, and misses, and Pure Thorns Dagger misses. So basically Em's just going, ow, 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 Yeah, so ow. she goes crazy, she runs towards this thing's face and just starts slicing at it. Like, it basically looks like um, if somebody ran at a glacier with a toothpick. <laughs> <laughs> and just starts picking at it. Um, so Marek's going to run in and try and stab this thing, um, and fails, and his second swing <laughs> fails again. Uh, Bannock... Um, again, stabbing at this creature's oh. eyes. Um, he stabs it into the thing and his sword gets stuck in the ice. At this point, um, Urgard raises up from where he was and he casts a spell on you. He's gonna, um, he's gonna um, breathe ice across the room. Um, he's gonna try to put up a coat of flames to. Uh, no, not yet. Um, is it, is it She's Lumi there. physically can't hurt him, so she's going to turn into ice. Ice spells only heal him. Oh, uh, no. And she, <laughs> I didn't even summon her. I, forgot to her. I brought her back in, didn't I? But you still had her summon, so... No, so, the Frostbreath her. hits Gideon. Yep, it does hit Gideon. Doing... We're going to die. Two damage. No, Lyra. I try and... Try and it does okay with flames. No, no, you can't. It doesn't hit Lyra. You do, well, you do but it's still overwhelming. My anger is so strong, ice has no effect. What's your fortitude? You stop holding 14 or 12, so. Well. So he does hit you doing Wait, five damage. Did he get eleven? Oh, sorry, he doesn't hit you then. Uh, Marek, he definitely hits doing nothing. <laughs> and Bannock, he hits doing nothing. Nothing. Wait. You have to when you have the bite for us, Yeah. That damage healed you. Oh, excellent. How much damage did he do? Uh, six, four, five, two. Two. So you actually heal two instead. Sweet. He has to Back up to 26. Okay, so um, he, he then readies another attack, and at that point, oh sweet, so I'm hit by him. Yeah. <laughs> well, if he gets like six damage, you can only absorb three. So oh right. Take three as well. But you heal three, you take three, you take nothing. That's cool. But he can only be ten. So, um, so he then readies another attack. Um, he like pulls his fist back to just crush the entire room from the side of the mountain. And at that point, Kalorinir slaps against the back of his head and, and starts like munching into him, like tearing icicles off his back and throwing them down below. Um, and as he does this, he like flies back, sends an epic um, like blast him, cyclops and, blast, and once again he falls down and his his head falls into the room. Here. God damn it, we're gonna hit him this time. Right. Oh sorry, Kalorinir does eleven damage. Did he? Flames. Come to my aid! Oh, oh, oh no. Oh. Well. No. Flames again! <laughs> nope. <laughs> Do it again. Uh, so you take the back no, 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 no,
D6 damage to him? Just D6. Just D6. What's he at one now for that? Yes! Six. So you do six damage to him. Ah! Die, you frozen bastard! And more importantly, you bloody him on a critical. Yeah! yeah. Now I can actually hit him! So his fortitude is now 12. Yes! I, sorry, it's sorry, it's 13 around it. Um, so it's now Lyra's go. Who's still oh, I totally yes. want to be Who's still the great yeah. morning one Slayer of Uthgard. So That'd be amazing. Flaming well, Sword. We roll. Flaming Sword. Eleven. <laughs> she Eight. got a one on the so <laughs> Yeah, so you, you stab with a Flaming Sword. Two. Um, and you do two, three... Um, yeah, so you do... Yeah, okay. You do one damage. Pure Sword. <laughs> Pure Dagger. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, miss. eleven. Yeah, you just missed. Okay, uh, I'll Your second set of attacks. Oh, so you can re-roll it, yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You'll miss. Okay, flaming sword. Flaming dagger again. Oh, hit, doing two. Two. And your kill thorns dagger. Hit. Hit, doing six. Okay. Mm. Okay, so Marek's going to charge him. And hit, doing seven. And then uh, hits again, doing one. So he does eight. Bannock rushes forward, sword in hand, misses him the first slash, and hits him on the second, doing uh, five damage. Urgard once again steps back. Enraged, he pulls a handful of icicles off his shoulder and throws a barrage of icicles down at you that rain from the sky. Agility checks the dodge. Gideon doesn't dodge them and takes D10 plus 2. He takes 3. Uh, this isn't frost damage, so you don't heal. Um, Lyra can try and dodge them. Um, ten, you do manage to dodge one. Um, Marek dodge. dodges and Bannock misses. Um, no, he, he does actually manage to dodge, yeah. Just about dodges. Um, okay. And then once again, Kalonir swarms all over him. Doing 10. 10 damage. Oh, he falls back into And he falls down right in front of you, his face shattering. Is it light what? pouring out? Get it! He is like. Flames him! He is like a screen of glass completely Can, I, can, I, can I get like some epic wizard rage? Like. Oh. So, uh, Myra's first time. Oh, she? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm not. And she's fastest. Oh, well, I'm I first last time, though. Yeah, I know. Okay, right. In fact, roll the dice, whoever's highest can attack first. Gideon gets 14, Lyra gets 18. Lyra goes first. Okay. So, we roll. Oh, so on a natural, natural 20, 20, Lyra climbs up Urgard's face. <laughs> Pissed off! As he's pulling away, she, he throws her into the air. She does a flip, and landing back down, plunges a flaming dagger into his eye socket. And the clock, it doesn't matter how much damage he's dead. Oh, well, then you slayed the he giant. He begins to fall backwards. Lyra, falling with him, is grabbed by a Kalrenir. Swooped back up and set back into the room you were in. Urgard falls dead to the bottom of Winter Shard Plateau and shatters like you never existed. Oh, that was so shit. If I had done that, I would have killed him. <laughs> I wanted to be Gideon Morningwood, Slayer of Uthgard. And that done, um, you look down below and you see any Jotun that remain of all are all beginning to flee back they, into the they, mountain. They fucked off. There's just littered bodies all over the place. And in, victor in victory, um, um, Russ goes to the, the where, basically where the wall was broken and blows the horn of Russ. And doing this alongside Kalrenir lands on top of the, uh, basically the top of the room you're in, and roars alongside it. And below you can hear orcs rejoicing in victory. The five orcs that are left. And Yay! a flyer comes out of the berserk stage. Oddly you hear a lot more than five orcs. Hey, what? What? Come on. No, that's all you know. Oh. Perception test. <laughs> <laughs> Go on, well, do a perception test. Four. You, know, you hear more than five orcs. Eleven. You hear more than five orcs. Oh. <laughs> well, Lyra's, Lyra's a little bit distraught right now, so she's okay. just like come out of berserk mode and just gone. <laughs> so, so, right, just might need to get him. Lyra calms down. <laughs> Lyra calms down, 
Um, but, um, Marek, like panting from the Sapphic battle, Russ drops his shield and sword and says, You better come and say thanks. It's over. Come and thank me. We won! Yay! I'm distraught for my father's strange man now. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. After this, the dragon latches onto the side of the fortress and arches its head into the room that you're in. Hi. Kind of, kind of like ready to talk to you, he's not threatening. Hi, Calvin, Hello. Yeah. Thanks for all the help. Hello, dragon. You. Enjoy the eternal stone or whatever it's called. The, uh, okay, so Karen airports his head in and goes, I have done as you asked. Yep. Oh, God is defeated. Thanks to me. Defeated. Defeated. <laughs> defeated. That's a cool word. It's defeated and dead. Defeated. Defeated. Yeah. It's defeated. It sounds weird, but it is. Defeated. defeated. I always think it's defeated. No, it's defeated. It is defeated, yeah. It's really weird. I don't. It's defeated. Yes, it is. Thanks to me. My okay, um. Up. Do you want to say anything back to him? Thank you for all your help, Dragon. Because I can't say your name. Calvinia. 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 He he closes his eyes and nods to you, which is like a dragon bow, basically. Oh. Um, at this point, Marek. The international guy. Marek. So. Marek paces <laughs> forward. Um, he goes. Not Marek. Uh, Bannock paces forward. He goes down onto his knees <laughs> and um, holds up the horn of Russ, offering it back to um, Calvinia. Kauranesh shakes his head and goes, No, son of Russ. This was a gift many years ago, and it belongs by your side. Oh. I return oh. now to my tur my to, to my church. <laughs> I return now to my perch atop the mountain. Live long, son of Russ. Fairly well. And he flies off back into the mountain. Bye. And in the distance you hear the not <laughs> one, you hear the um Oh, it's um, Okay, um, Marek's face lights up with the only time you've ever seen him smile. <laughs> Marek! The Marek's face yeah. lights up, yeah. Um, I hope he gives us a hug. We did it, Marek! High five! He, he high fives you. He's like, he's like fuck yeah! <laughs> Can you do a body slam? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh. He knocks yeah. me over. I'm like, nice one. Yeah. As you do that, his steel <laughs> armor hurts your chest and you fall backwards. <laughs> <laughs> Taking D6. <laughs> <laughs> the, um, I'm going to say again, I didn't get hurt once in that battle. <laughs> um, Russ, um, Russ says, Let, let's go check on the warriors. And um, you, you're shushing back downstairs. He just shushes. Go on, kids. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> so you return down. Is there anything else you want to do in this room first? Loot it. No, is can't the, There's nothing the, in there. It's a place. Is he, the as, did, There's just the glowing door. Did, the rest did my father take the, the crown? Door? What? What's in the glowing door? It's the entrance to the vault. Basically. Oh, okay. Did my dad take the take the vault? Take the thing. Um, you. From what you can work out, he was still trying to work out how to get in there. All right, Marek. I mean, Russ. Do you think he took the? Crown. Um, no, 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 orc has ever got in there. It's well, not going to begin now. Do you want to check for us, maybe? Had he got in there, he would not still be around. We will check it. That's slightly bittersweet because I still want my dad. <laughs> but you know. Okay, so you return downstairs and are met, oddly, by the entire hall filled with orcs. Mostly women, children, and elderly. Yay! Which um, I was going to say, they reproduce really fucking what, fast. <laughs> one of the orc warriors that survive runs up to um, American Russ and says something in orc. He's just like, "Where is she, my she's my girl." And, <laughs> and Marek says, "The Jotun kept them in the dungeons. Thank the ancestors, they're alive." Yeah. Um, everyone kind of rejoices and stuff. Um, <laughs> Bannock. <laughs> Bannock. S slowly, calmly steps up towards his throne. He pushes through the crowd and he sits down on his throne. And then he goes, Well, clean up this mess! <laughs> it's time for a feast! Yay! And you all rejoice, okay? Yeah! Um, Alcohol! <laughs> I need a stiff drink after that. And he goes, um, the old lady He goes, Hello, Before the feast, my people will need some time to tidy up. Feel free to rest. We will start. We will. We will start the feast when uh, the sun goes down. Okay. Party on. So you you base you basically have three or four hours to do whatever you want. Uh, I think we should. Uh... Well, is there anything worth looking looting in Crackfall? Nothing really. You could help them tidy up. You could just chill. <laughs> I 
You could heal, you could. Do well, I think that we've just fucking beaten a fucking giant. I'm gonna, I'm gonna heal, I'm gonna rest. I'm gonna, I've, I've, I think I've deserved a fucking rest. Okay, so you sit down by the stone table, yeah? I'm yeah. gonna go help tidy up. I bring Lumi out. Lumi, I choose you. Okay, I'm so help. Lu Lumi and Lumi. I'm gonna kind of sit there in the, in the thing like. Uh, oh, do you wanna I'm help? Exhausted. Do you wanna help? Um, kind of with the feast, or do you wanna help tidy up the debris? I'll help tidy up the debris. Okay, so, so you, I'll, um, you kind of go off with with the with the more rugged, able-bodied orcs, and, and they're all looking you, at me like you. You, you start um, picking up jokes and buddies and throwing them down the <laughs> stairs and stuff like that. I'll um, fix the holes and I'll, I'll from where I'm sitting, I'll fix the fucking holes with like some nice okay. ice windows. Yeah, some of the, some of the holes in the wall, you you frost blast. Um, there's people by the great doors that are hitting it with mallets, trying to beat it back into place. <laughs> <laughs> um, Things like that. Um, so you do you do this kind of things and generally help out for about three hours. Um, and it's a bit of hard work after a battle. <laughs> and when no one ever thinks about I'm that fucked. kind of stuff. I know you. Yeah. Well, you rest for a bit and then after you feel better, you obviously go and do this. Um, and then you return back to the uh, main throne room where suddenly the celebration is in full swing. <laughs> These orcs are really the nice music. Isn't it? I, I imagine orcs be handy metal. As the, sun, <laughs> as the sun goes down, the room is illuminated by torches that all the orcs have put up. Um, blah, 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 blah. The orcs, is, uh, the orc warriors, are sat at the, um, the stone um, table along with a few other. Basically, it's just full of orcs. Um, female orcs and children run back into with casks of ale and um, other like foods and stuff that they that were left in the dungeons that the jokes didn't quite eat. And they pour that, um, and they're getting rinsed. Russ, hey! Russ sits with a big smile on his face on his throne, uh, the, the um, crown of Russ back. back He's a cock to the side like a back, back on his head. Um, <laughs> Marek stands by his side with, with his great sword, like just stood stalwart, guarding him, like as he would have normally. Um, Marek, come grab a beer! Um, Marek, Marek nods to you and says, Later, friends, later. Is <laughs> it dancing? Um, yeah, some orcs are dancing around and stuff. There's, there's a few in the corner with bongos. I'm going to dance like, my sorrows like away to the dance floor. So you you have a little shift. Lu Lumi's doing a little shift in the air as well. She's doing a little ice, ice fairy jig. Can I, can like I, I let off, like, can can off some little like little fireworky things? Like kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Do, I'm, I'm doing a Gandalf with some right. with some flame and some ice and. Gideon's, Gideon's throwing weird little oh, the kid like, spells yeah, in the air. The orc kids are around going, yay, yay, yay. <laughs> 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 oh, that's, <brilliant. laughs> that's how all children speak, by the way. They come out of the mother like, wah, <laughs> wah. <laughs> the voice of a sort of 40 a day smoke. So, um, <laughs> eventually, um, Marek calls everybody to sit down. Uh, sorry, Bannock calls it. Yeah, Marek calls everybody to sit down. Well, Bannock says it in orchid. Where are we sitting? Are we, are we sitting in places of honour? No, no. Just... Basically, the big long table, you're sat at the very head of it, nearest the throne. Yay. So it's the most honourable position you could be in. Woohoo! Um, <laughs> High five. Okay, so Bannock stands up um, and begins a speech in orcish, which Marek thankfully translates for you, otherwise they're just like, Here's the burger! See you on the booze day! And everyone goes, Yeah, we go! Yeah! He goes, this is the bit where my throat gives in. <coughs> he goes, Heroes of Crack Vault! And all the orcs, whoa! Oh! Yeah, it was a... Today we are victorious! <laughs> Today even the might of Urgard fell at our feet. Though many are lost, we will rebuild. We will prosper, for we are orcs. And this is our mountain! And once again they, oh! oh! We had some unlikely allies in this battle, who set example for the other races in courage and honor. Today, we not only dine to our victory, we dine to Lyra and to Gideon, heroes of Crockvault! And all the orcs, yeah! they, they, they all throw their mugs in the air and ale splatters them down. Woohoo! Let's get pissed! Um, all the orcs stand up in an uproar and begin to roar, yeah! <laughs> um, um, Lyra doesn't like Ma this attention, she's just there like that. Oh. Russ, um, Russ signals over to uh, Marek who goes up the stairs to the vaults. And um, Russ put, holds out, um, walks over to you and holds out his hands and goes, Friends, yes. will you come and stand before me? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you two rise and you stand at the head of the table. 
basically being presented to the rest of the orcs. Woohoo! Okay, um, Marek comes back down the stairs with uh, three intricately carved wooden boxes of various sizes, and he places them um, in front of the throne. Um, Marek turns around and grabs quite a, a big box, like uh, it's quite long, it's about the size that you'd expect, like a... Um, well, you'll see. <laughs> well, you'll see. He, he hands it to Lyra, he says, To Lyra! Swift! Cunning! And fearless! You forgot beautiful. We gift you... <laughs> you boast and flick your hair. <laughs> we gift you with a marvel of orcish craftsmanship. Ooh. In hopes that it will aid you as you have aided us. Yeah. I gift you with Grimlock's bow. And he Grimlock. hands you a cast. That's transformed. Um, yeah, Grimlock's a transformer. Is it? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Oh. You got I, a trans. I was, you got an also bot bow. <laughs> I was thinking Grimlock. He's a di- he's a dynamite. He's a terrorist. What's right? I don't really know transformer. I was thinking of something that sounds like Flintlock, but orcish. Grimlock. Yeah, no, it's okay. So um, he 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 opens it up and shows it to you. Um, I love it. It's a kind of a fur-lined case with a very intricately made orc bow uh, with the head of Calrene card. At the oh, end of the I love that. Cool. Um, also lying in there are ten expertly made orcish arrows. Thank you very um, much. He closes the box and hands it to you. I accept it with a smile and a nod. Yeah, you kind of get it in curtsy as yep, you do so. Yeah, I love a curtsy. And then, and then you turn around. And I go, thanks. He goes, and to Gideon, wise, powerful and bold. Yeah. We gift you with yeah. these. We gift you with these robes, in hopes that in, even in the hardiest times you will never waver. I gift you with the sentinel's garb. Ooh. Um, and he hands a bo- he hands a box to you, so he which you open up, and it has in it um, oh, no. elegant, heavy robes, um, blue with gold with a golden lining. Oh, oh sweet! Mm, that's nice. Sweet. A, a very dark blue with a golden lining. Um, they look very expensive and regal. Sweet! Um, and you instantly feel their magic. Oh, Ooh. excellent! He goes, um... He's gonna see your hat. I'm surprised you haven't lost your hat. He then I know, my hat stayed on. Yeah, yeah. He goes, <laughs> it's magic, it's attached. Yeah. It's just literally glue. He goes, <laughs> Though sadly, Ezer is, is among those of our brothers dining with the ancestors tonight. This is just... <coughs> I gift you with... I gift you with some of her writings yes. and hope that they will aid you on your quest. Sweet. And he hands you four books. Yes. Ooh. Oh, thank God. Beautiful. And finally, to the cra- to the slayer of Urgard herself, oh, I present part of the Highborn Crown, trusted to us by High Lord Archon himself. And he hands you a small chest. Um, which you open it up and it has um, half a semicircle of a very odd kind of golden metal. Beautiful. Um, in, a, in a fur line case. Can I have And all the, all the orcs clap in merriment and he goes, Now friends, drink, rejoice, and be merry, for we have made the ancestors proud. For Grackvald! And all the orcs reply, For Russ! Hey! Okay, so um, you go and sit back down, chuffed with all the stuff you have. Do you want to inspect it and see what it does and shit? I do. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going. I'm going to go. I'm going to go up to um, to uh, to to Vanek and, uh, and 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 Marek first, and, and be and be like, uh, oh, Russ. Um, they both now have casts of ale. Ru- I, I, I've got I've got one as well, by the way. Russ, Marek, my friends, allies, brothers in arms, let's toast. To crack vault um, and its ever living prosperity. Um, Cheers they, and um, they bash, they they bash, they bash against yours and go for us. And then but we're all gonna. And then they all just down their pints. Yay! Lyra, what do you do? I'm dancing with Lumi. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little. Um, I'm, I'm you dance and Lumi's doing spirals around. Yeah. I'm, 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 she's actually moonwalking through the air. Around <laughs> I'm just I'm just chilling with Bannikin, Bannikin, Marek, just like just 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 like. Bannikin, Marek, actually. Hey, do you remember that time when I fucking fried that Jota in his fucking? <laughs> mid- you see his eyes boil. It's fucking. Bannikin, Marek have now left the um, throne and come to the table to sit with you all. Hey. A few orcs have actually started dancing on the table and it's getting a bit rowdy. A few of them have started like trying to grope the way to sit. I'm gonna get up on the table. Um, and a bit of a jig as well. Some of the uh, some of the old children have actually um, propped the um, 
Jotun came against the wall and they're hitting him with swords. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh I'm look gonna, at that. I'm going to get my Grimlock bow out and shoot him right between the eyes. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to okay, blah, blah, blah. inspect Okay, so drugs. you draw Grimlock's bow with one of your normal arrows? Yes, just a normal arrow. Okay, so you draw Grimlock's bow with one of your arrows, and as you pull it, you feel the intense strength of it. Oh. And you actually hear cogs working inside it, oh. somehow. Oh. And you release the bow faster than any... You, Faster than you've ever seen an arrow fly, and it <laughs> smashes straight between his eyes. Uh, uh, you lose an arrow. Oh, that's fine. Oh, no, <laughs> the no. kids are like, yeah. Oh, the kids are like, wow. Um, okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna ident- I'm gonna identify um identify the uh, the robes. robes. Arcane so, check. Oh, I'm gonna get a good arcane check. Whatever. Yeah. Dude, you've got plus. You've got plus um nine. Oh, no, plus ten. It, it's not an elemental thing. Remember. Oh yeah. Oh, look oh. at that. Yeah, totally fast. <laughs> um, okay, um, it has a, the constant effect of stalwart, um, meaning that while you're wearing them, you can never be knocked down. Yes! Wow. Um, it also has room for one enchantment. On the juggernaut, um, bitch! And they're, heavy, <laughs> and they're heavy robes, so they'll give you plus one health as well. Oh, right? excellent. So I'm going to put those bastards on. In the middle of the party. Oh, yeah. He's no. drunk. He doesn't care. He's <laughs> 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 kidding. Uh, Morningwood for uh, a reason. Can I keep the box? Yeah, I, I like keeping boxes. There's no ice boxes, just keep. Puts them in. <laughs> okay, okay, can I have, take a quick uh, glance at the uh, the box and see what? The yeah, you, you don't need any checks. Um, what box are they? The first one's called. Um, they're all handwritten by Isha herself, like their diaries. Um, she's entitled the first one, "The Legend of Russ." And flicking through it, you see that it basically tells the story of how the author. What's the first one called? The Legend, Legend of, of Russ. Russ. Um, it basically tells of how the orcs first came to Krakvald and um, their defeat of um, Urgard using um, Kalrinir and stuff like that and Ross's rise yeah. to power. Um, the second one is called um, Creatures of the World, Cloud Terror's Mountain. And it's a beastery with intricate um, drawings and kind of oh, dice- dissections of all the different creatures that live on top of Cloud Star Mountain. Cool. There are, there's also two um, spell instruction books. Um, the first one's the spell tone for Fireball. Yes! And the second one is the spell tone for Level 1 Command. So you command someone to do something. Mm-hmm. So it's like my honesty ring. It's like no, Jedi, it's like, it's, 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 it's like, um, these are not the droids you're looking for. Yeah, kind of thing. Yeah. It's a Jedi mind trick. Um, and that's that. Yes! <laughs> Fireball. <laughs> so, um, after a while, uh, Marek comes and sits beside Lyra and drunkenly wraps his arm around her. Aww. Give him a kiss. And he goes, I must say, I admired your rage back there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, thanks. I didn't really expect that to happen, seeing as I thought my dad was dead. <laughs> Along with my mother. Wow, way to put a damper on the fucking event. He says, um, I truly see the spirit of an orc inside you. If Would you only like you... to have an orc inside <laughs> you? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> if only you could harness that power, you could go berserk for real. Oh, really? Oh! Oh, teach me. Are oh, you wanting to teach you how to go berserk? Yeah. And he goes, Get pissed. And he goes, <laughs> Tomorrow we will spar and I will teach you how to unlock that rage. Awesome. For now, drink, be merry, my friends. We are victorious. So I am gonna get rage. so rinsed. <laughs> okay, I'm so um, with him. I'm not you, get drunk. you drink and dance. Gideon kind of puts his new robes up to his chest and does this little girly dance <laughs> with it and stuff like that. Um, Lyra kind of just flips off the table and all the children are like, yay! I'll just show no! <laughs> <laughs> the uh, little old boy's like, yay! And the little old girl looks at them confused and goes, You suck. <laughs> uh, so eventually you get completely wasted on oh, this old gale. Yeah! Um, and eventually everybody retires back to the bedrooms. A few guys just fall flat flat on the floor or on the table and shit like that. Um, so you're, um, you're escorted into... A lot of the rooms have collapsed and stuff from the assault. But you're escorted into a room where there's like just, just a few like beds and stuff, and you both go to sleep in the same room. There's nobody else in there. Not in the same bed, just in the same room. Just pops. Um, so you fall asleep, so healing surge rolls and healing and all that shears. So what do you need to do? It's too sick for every healing surge you have. So you're gonna ju- you're just gonna be fully healed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I know you're on healing surge, so I've got four healing surges. You've got five, Gideon. Uh, Larry, you have two. I've got five. Oh, sorry, no, you were stuffed from the feast, so you get plus two. So you have six, yeah. and you have three. Okay, so you um, you awaken. Um, Lyra awakens first, Gideon's still asleep. Feeling shit. Um, 
So looking outside, you can see the um, you can see the um, the sun's up already. How long is it going on for? Um, it's. Time check. Oh, do you mean recording wise? Yeah. Um, an hour forty. That's all right. But this is basically yeah. yeah. So the sun the sun comes up through the through a like a, a buttress window. You know, like you fire arrows out. A buttress of windows. Um, you, you you kind of work out that it's probably like about eight a.m. ish. Um, you have a slight hangover from all the ale you drank. Oh, yeah. um, your muscles are still tense from the battle. Um, what do you want to do? I'm still asleep, so it's ends. This was ends. I have a spa with. Okay, so you you walk downstairs and, um, and see Marek. Um, Marek stood by the throne, Manic again in there. Um, he's kind of um, organising the rebuild of Crackvolve. Uh, um, you walk over to Marek and what do you say? Hi, Marek. Morning. Yes, Merrick says, I trust you slept well. Yeah, it was alright. Giddy and snored, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> but that's, not, that's not new. <laughs> yes. Are you leaving us soon? Yes, probably. We have to take the crown back to Carib. Yes. I forgot to give you this last night. Oh, you okay. have it now. Oh, thank you. Um, and he gives you a purple gemstone for a colour scheme. Thank hey, you very much. Hey, um, are they, I'll just like, these gems are they are they one use yes. things? Oh, right. Um okay, so I'll just be like, uh Mary, just you know, last night you mentioned um sparring a little bit just to teach me how to go berserk. I would love that. Yes. yes. Let me show you how to release your anger. Okay. Um he ushers you outside. I'm a woman, this shouldn't be hard. And the great door, which is now like beaten back into place. <laughs> um, we'll cut to Gideon. Gideon wake and go. <laughs> Everything suddenly gets really tense. <laughs> <laughs> I wake up, I'm like... <sighs> need a drink. <laughs> need another need drink. Need a drink of water. <sighs> I nice. took back to sleep. That's nice, that's nice. That's no, you're joking. <laughs> um, I am going to um, study um, the books that I've got. I'm going to um, study Fireball. You're just going to spend a few hours reading them all. Yeah, okay. yeah. So what, what do I get from... from uh, <gasps> you can just cast Fireball out the window. <laughs> I was gonna go outside and like, okay, so yeah, come with so. me and practice. Yeah, it. just you can go outside. Yeah, I, 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 what do I get from the other books though? From the creature craft ones, I get. Um, okay, from um, Legend of Rush, you're gonna get plus one Historia. Uh, what's this? What's oh yeah, plus plus what? Hist uh, plus one Historia. I've got no, I've got now minus nine. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually not bad. Um, you also get plus two creature craft from studying uh, creatures of the world. Oh, that's good. Are we saying creature craft is animal craft? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've changed plus it. Plus what? No, plus two creature craft. So minus seven, minus six, minus Creature five. is much minus better five. because it tells you about everything. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so you spend a few hours reading these books. Um, you you throw a fireball out of the window and you learn spells on fireball. I'll write it on your character sheet in a bit. You're not going to get into any more fights at the moment. Oh, right. Um, you can't learn command until you cast it on somebody. Yeah, yeah. Is fireball like epically better than flames? Um, it's the same thing, but Probably it has medium potent. range instead of a cone. Ah, right, okay. So it's, but it's it's not rather than a spray. It's like concentrated. Yeah, it's it's a long range. Thing. So it'll do a bit more damage. It does plus one damage. Plus just decent plus one, but it's medium good. range. That's good. Cool. Um, okay, so um, Marek walks with Lyra um, to the bottom of the steps. There's still a giant hole in the uh, Winterside Plateau where <laughs> Urkar had emerged. Um, there's just a deep pit with uh, water at the bottom. Mm. Um, so stood at the bottom of the stairs, he draws his great sword and um, says, HIT ME! Lyra's kind of like... Hit him! Okay. Ox is, Ox is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to hit me, hit him with my normal, I'm just going to draw my normal dagger, my spare normal dagger. Are you going to stab it? Are you going to punch your Ox's dagger? Yeah. Yeah, he's asked you to hit him, not stab him. I'm not gonna hit him. <laughs> I said hit me, not stab me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, am I supposed to punch you? You just kill Marek. Oh, I'm gonna you, hit him with a dagger. I'm gonna do the most you, damage. You, you, you kill Marek, okay. and now all the orcs hate you. So what are you doing? gonna do? I'm gonna hit him with my dagger. Okay. In, not in the gloved hand though. In the other hand, because I'm I, ambidextrous. Let, let me put some slightly better music on. A little bit uh, more <laughs> music. <laughs> okay. So you um you draw your dagger, yeah? Yeah. In what hand? My left hand, which hasn't got the glove. Okay. Yeah, my me... right hand is always glove. So, so it's on fire. No, it's not on fire. So, your glove, the... so your glove hand. My glove hand, right. yeah, I'm sorry I forgot. Okay. It's not so in my left hand. You're gonna try and hit I've him. got that song from Mulan running through my head right now. 
Let's get I, down to business. I know it. Feed <laughs> the hunts. Feed the gods. Feed my every order. <laughs> oh, you're the saddest elf I've ever met. And you know before we through. <laughs> Lyra, I'll make a berserker out of you. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Paige. Yeah, I'm right. by the way. <laughs> what? Chong! Uh, um, why don't we skill check? Okay, so you swing at him. Um, <laughs> and, I said hammer! Um, you hit him and he says, Good! Again! Come on, stop trying to hit me! Hit me! So you swing at him and miss. He says, No good! Again! Jesus! I hit him again! You miss him again? He's gonna hit you. Come on! Seven. No, he goes, AGAIN! 17. Okay, so you hit him, and it glances off him, and he, he's, he basically swings his greatsword at you, um, I just and, misses, and, misses, and misses and misses you. Missing? Yep. <laughs> so you miss him again, and once again he swings his greatsword, oh shit, then. That was <laughs> once again he swings his greatsword at you, and hits, doing 7 damage. I don't want to die, away. <laughs> Merrick kills Lyra. Oh shit. Shouldn't have swung so hard. 27. Okay, so you hit him. You can swing at him again. 12. Uh, you don't hit him. What? Oh, sorry, yeah, you do with plus 5. Yeah. So you hit him. Um, he goes, good, again! And swings at you and hits you for 1 damage. Okay, Lyra. Okay. Um, you hit him. And he says, Good, now you're getting the hang of it. And swings again, hitting you, doing 10. I'm on, I'm Swing. Okay, bloodied, suddenly the flash of your father hits in oh, your head. No, like and you me. shout, Aah! Do it, do a battle cry for me. Aah! And you swing it in with your with your weapon and you stab him, <laughs> buckling his armour, and the knife goes into him. He grabs your arm and pulls it out and says, Good. You <laughs> just stabbed him in the gut. I'm just there, like, he's not. Like, he's fucking hard, man. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, Yes, hold on to that. And okay. he attacks you, hitting you for one damage. And you swing back. 16. Oh, yeah, so you, you hit him again. Um, again, piercing his armor, and he says, "Okay, stop now." <laughs> and you, you kind of draw your blade, and you're like, he like um, he like grabs your shoulders and shakes you to calm you down. Um, <laughs> that doesn't calm you. I don't know what does. You're now a berserker. Yay! So she's not. Is that uh, I've, I've oh no, yeah, she's she, she's a it's a specialization. Oh, Basically, right, when right. she's bloody, she'll now go into a berserk state. That's cool. I'm gonna go and find Bannock. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, cause like, so I'm, I'm, I'm moving around for Bannock. I'm basing. I'm gonna have some. Oh, Bannock's on the throne. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna find him. Bannock. Yes, my friend. Friend, hail and well met. That's my I must converse with you. <laughs> Anything. Shit, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Now that, uh, that uh, as, uh, as we have, you know, obviously got everything back. Uh, I take it. Uh, we can now call upon you as an ally if we if if we need. Yes. Once we have rebuilt and are back back to how we were, the orcs will be on your side. Excellent. Excellent. Do you have anything to? Do we have any means of contacting you at all? Or anything to show that we're friends of orcs? Or anything to show that we are heroes of Crackvault? Um, Except for our weapons, obviously. He he says, um, I could organize for one of my men to give you the mark of the hero. That'd be awesome. What's that tattoo? Yes. Oh sweet, yeah, totally. I like that too. I've already got one. I'll yeah. add my to my So um Gideon goes outside while his Lyra spiral this guy and sees like her, see her rage and then um Mara come down and you're just like, Lyra, we can get tattoos. And they just look at you like free tattoos. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so um, you go and sit at the table and you're presented with food and ale, um and eventually I'm um, I'm just an elderly everywhere. orc comes over to you with um like one of the, the tap tattoo. Yeah, items, like, you know yeah, what I mean? like it's like a little rake and then you tap it. Um, and um, he walks over to you and goes, Heroes of Crackvald, and like nods to you, and like bows to you slightly, and goes, I have been ordered to give you your mark. 
Can I ask, where did I put my Swift Blood tattoo? Was it on my wrist? It's on your hip. It's on my hip? It's on your hip. It's on my hip? It's sexy. Nice. Oh, no, 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 sorry, it's on your collarbone. It's on my collarbone! It's on sexy, collarbone. That's nice. right, yeah. Um, so, he, yeah, what, what do you want? <laughs> I, what does it look like, first of all? Um, it's the Mark of Crackwald. It is a tr uh, black triangle with a cutout of a fortress in it. Like, in your skin colour. I will have it here. So, do you, do you want me to draw it? Yes, please. Yeah, please. So, it, it looks like, um... Like that, all black, but in this like an image of crap world like that, cut out of it in, in your normal skin, like that. So this is all black. Like that. So it's just not like okay, cool, yeah, I'll, I'll have it I'll there. I'll have it on the. I'll have it. On, I don't know. Oh, where, where, where would that look coolest? I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying to. Directly on your forehead. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, that's it. Neck. I, was, I was, I was thinking of a neck, but I want to like. I don't know. Actually, I'll have it wherever you have it. I'm gonna have it on my butt cheek. No, okay, then no, I'm, I'm not gonna have it. Take around. I'm gonna have it on my dick. No, <laughs> oh no, my I'm god. Gonna, I'm gonna stretch out my ball skin. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to. I'm, I'm, where, do, where do orcs traditionally have this tattoo? He goes, uh, usually it is on the back or the chest. Well, I'll have it on my chest then. <laughs> <laughs> the boldest of orcs, but, um, boast, boast about that. Um, their fortitude by having it in the most painful places. <laughs> so, ball <also. laughs> where, where do you want it? Chest. Okay, um, really so, so you lie down on the stone table and kind of take off your robe. Um, That's cool. He, he starts to tap it. You need to roll under your... I mean, nipples you need to roll to um, glass out here. Under your fortitude. Equal to or under your fortitude, What's sorry. Fortitude? That's M's is very... Hers uh, is 12, yours is 10, I think. Yeah. yeah. Under it. Yeah, equal to or under. Okay, you got 11. So, um... As he's tattooing you, you um, faint. <laughs> uh, um, Lyra, where do you want so, to? I'm gonna have my way. I said I'll have it on my, my wrist. So uh, the, not my wrist. At the top, the, of, the top of the top my, of your. Um, yeah, just below my. On your elbow. gauntlet arm, or your non gauntlet. I'll just see my own. Okay. Yeah, my gauntlet. So on your left, on your left arm. Yeah, okay, you need to roll under your fortitude as well. Fine. Um, so Lyra kind of grins and bears it. And oh, um, that was my first tattoo. It was a bit intense. That <laughs> yeah, was. I've already had a tattoo. I've got a bit. I've got a bit of a buzz from that one. That's uh, that's, um, that's that's quite it's quite a addicting experience. G Gideon like soberly wakes up and the the orcs like laughing at you while he's doing Lyra's and she's just like, man, fucking hell. So I've had it. I want more. Tattoo. It's so true that when you have a tattoo, it's yeah. really addictive. Like yeah. um, really addictive. So um, my friend threw up with you. Yeah, with with with. With the mark of the hero <laughs> being given to you, um, it's basically time to go home. Yeah, let's go see let's Carol! Let's build the field. I, I mean, should we try and convince Marek to come with us if we get an actual oh, twin? I'll just, re I'll just remember you something. You can try. Marek! Marek, wait, Marek. I'll just remember something. Marek! Um, Ma Marek's uh, back talking to him back. I just remember something. What do you remember? I remember, you know, in Upton Fields when Cypher <laughs> came along to, um, to the, see the Duke or whatever. Mm. Um, why would he? Why? I'm just wondering why Karen would want the mm. the crown when Cypher came back after it. So mm. I'm wondering what's going on. Came back after it. Yeah, he went to get it, didn't he? In Upton Fields. Yeah, he no, he didn't go to Upton Fields. I don't know, but I'm just thinking, why does Karen want the crown? Because Cypher was in Upton Fields, and then he was in Crackfold to get the crown. So it seems like something like going on. Something that's going on. Mm. That's just something that's going on. Go on. Small events apart. I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, do you, do you want to go talk to Marek or are you just going to head out? I'm going to go to Marek and go, uh, Barak. Barak or Marek? What? Marek. <laughs> Barak's brother. And, 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 and Barak. I shouldn't have made that name so soon. I know, yeah. Uh, but Ross. it should have been like Marek and Steve. Marek. <laughs> <laughs> Steve. <laughs> it would be most, we would be most honoured if you would continue our adventure with us. Come with us to Upton Fields. Charisma check. Oh, come on, 20, 20, 20. Oh! Damn it. Uh, Marek says, I am honoured, my friend, but I must remain here to protect my lord and rebuild the fortress. Come on, Adam, you have a go. No. What a good do it! I would love to have him with us, but I don't want to take him away from Banner. I'll just see what I would have got. If that oh, was a 20, what? I would have punched you. Would that have done it? Would 15 have done it? No. Yeah, 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 Don't worry, as well. <laughs> I'm going to practice once she gets to 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Sorry, go I'm on. Stab you in the throat. <laughs> uh, Ma Ma Marek says, um, I must remain here, but I hope 
and I will pray to the ancestors that I see you again. Oh, and once sure again, you fight by your side. Yeah. Oh, if, if the time calls for it, we will call upon you. I'm the might of Crackwald! Um, he um, grabs your shoulder and says, Farewell, my friend. Ah, the tattoo. Ah, the tattoo. That's in your chest. Yeah, it's, like, it's like here. Yeah, of your heart, yeah. Um, he grabs your shoulder and says, Farewell, my friend, and kind of does a bro hug. Like, I'm yeah, bro, 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 bro. Grab his, his forearm. In like just a, grab his forearm. Grab his forearm. Give him a and hug. awkwardly shake it. <laughs> give no, him a hug. Caress his okay. bicep. <laughs> um, um, Russ um, stands up and says, Thank you, my friends. I'll curtsy. I'm going to do a little. Curtsy to the Orc King! <laughs> I'm a mighty <laughs> wizard, I don't I bow. I don't curtsy. I bow gentlemanly. We must away. Okay, so you um, you make yourself. Yeah, you, you you leave through the great door downstairs. This giant hole in Wintershaft Plateau, which if you look at the map, it's basically like this is a hole. <laughs> <laughs> so so you, so you you no oh, not quite there. So you make your way around back to um the barricade. The barricade itself has been dismantled along with the um bolt throwers. The bolt throwers. Um, the cans and stuff. Um, all the graves have been like um. Like tokens have been left on there for loved ones yeah, yeah. and stuff like that. Um, you um, you kind of pass a few walks, um, taking supplies back into that's like the emergency area. Yeah. yeah. So they're um, taking supplies back into. Um, you walk up the stairs and get to the color scheme. Stick the crystal in. Oh, I mean, I've got the crystal. And I'd be like, hey, look, I've got. There you go, Mister. Um, are you both holding your boxes of items? Yeah. Because you got they won't fit in your. Room. I, I imagine that it was like tied to my. Like slung across your back. So you've got another box. Oh, those are the boxes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, I imagine like oh, yeah. I imagine it's like a wooden box with like handles and yeah, then yeah. this rope between each handle. Yeah, yeah. Like you, can, you can tie ropes around. He's got my that. box because he's a gentleman. I've got me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. So oh, shit, this is. <laughs> who has the box with the crown? The piece of the crown. Me. And just got that. Okay. So I don't want anything to do with that thing. You step onto <laughs> the colour skate. Yep. Place the crystal in. My dad was gonna kill me. <laughs> okay. So placing the crystal in. Once again, the runes below start to glow. S tornado of smoke of um, rainbow colours bellow around you. Suddenly starts to flash, completely obscuring your view. The snow that's been falling on you for basically half a week suddenly vanishes. We realise just how cold and we really you, were. And the smoke disappears and you return to Upton Fields. Yay! Yay! End of chapter two! End of chapter two, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! And then we'll, we'll, we'll see where our heroes are taking next. Shopping! Yay! Shopping! Oh, you've been gold for that! Bollocks. You've not been rewarded by Carol yet. Oh shit! <laughs> so, yeah, that's right! <laughs> oh, so looking forward to doing some heavy duty shopping next time. Awesome. So, um, as, as well, a, the next episode is going to be a shopping episode. As a little bonus, as a little bonus, it's, it's an hour and a half now, but as a little bonus thing, five minutes each of what you thought of the area, just for. Awesome! Really, really cool. A couple of little grumbles, but nothing major. What are your grumbles? <laughs> no, just, just stuff that I've moaned at. You know, like, Urgh. it's not right. Urgh. Yeah, yeah. We have my little it. moments. Larry loved it all. I loved, especially the bit with my dad. Loved it. Look, I, I, did not wait, think, I have I been did waiting not think to that throw that plot twist in for like four months. As soon as you were like, <laughs> really? as as you were like Cypher, I was like, oh no, my dad's named Baradin, this can't be it. I was like, oh, is he an evil, is he an evil drab? Does he know my dad? No, he is my dad. I <laughs> am your father. And he's got a bloody psycho hissy thing he's that, got a psycho demon that tried to kill me, but he knows it's me. Right. <laughs> Well, shall we wrap it up then? Yeah. It's like an hour and a half and I don't know how much the limit is. So I don't yeah, so that's that then, guys. So, okay. we Do will see you next time. Full in part of chapter three. Chapter Cheerio. three. Fairly well. Bye-bye. Hello, well met. Farewell, friends. How Bye. can I make a man out of you? <laughs> that was ace.